Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is rotation from x vector. Rotation from x vector, and that's this note here, takes in a vector and gives us back a rotation. Now, generally, you want to give it a vector that is a directional vector, so something that we're using to determine a direction. Now, the reason this is a rotation from x vector is generally the x is used to indicate the forward for that vector. In Unreal Engine, if we open up our character, for example, so let's find our character, we grab the viewport and we grab like the mesh, x is determined in the engine as generally the forward direction. So that's why we have the node for the X. Now in terms of using it, here's my example. I'm going to grab my player controller and grab the pawn. So I'm going to grab my player, figure out his forward vector, because we want some form of a direction to feed into this node. So I want to know which way is forward, and then I'm going to take the rotation from my rotation from X vector node. So it's going to be the rotation for my forward vector here, and feed that into the set actor rotation for my box. What that looks like is, see this box here? When I look around, he looks around. Let me do it in here and show it a little bit better. So we'll look at here. We'll turn to the right. I will eject, and you'll notice my box, and I have this little cone indicating the forward direction of the box, or the X direction, is facing the same way as my player. I'll possess again, and you'll notice it's going to track our movements, basically. Now it's not going to track it up and down, and it's not going to track it if we look up and down. Remember, it's just going to be our X. It's basically going to be the rotation of my player. You'll notice how the box doesn't rotate when I move left and right. It's not trying to look at us. It's just trying to follow our actual rotation. So that's it. It's really simple. It's very useful if you have a vector for a direction, and you've generally used something like the get actor forward vector, get after right vector, get actor up vector. You've determined up, left, right, or down, something like that forward is usually used for this and you want to figure out a rotation um, it's super helpful for example if let's say you do a line trace and you hit something and you want to determine based on where you hit maybe the opposite direction for a a bounce shot or maybe you're going to spawn a particle and you want to make sure it is spawning like you hit with a bullet and then the particle effect fires towards you rather than a specific direction. You can feed it in where you hit or the normal and that'll give you basically a facing direction then you can get the rotation to feed in. So that's it. That's our rotation from X vector node. It takes in a vector. Generally this is going to be a locational vector, a directional vector, sorry, a directional vector and it's going to return back out the rotation on the X for that vector.